Hello everyone, Alexandra here. I'm an engineering manager at Fellow on the ecosystem team where we've been working hard behind the scenes to build integrations to make Fellow fit into your existing workflows seamlessly. Today I'm going to share with you four of our new and upcoming integrations. The first I'm going to show you is our new Jira integration, which allows you to create, import, and update Jira issues right from within your notes. This integration is great for surfacing Jira ticket statuses within Fellow and keeping them in sync with action items without needing to sacrifice your existing Jira setup. So here I have a one-on-one -on -one with my direct report, Rachel. Now for our upcoming note, we have some talking points already and we've started filling out some action items here. Rachel and I track a lot of our work within Jira, but we found that we were spending a lot of time copying information back and forth between fellow and Jira and making sure that the completion status of action items and issues was kept in sync between the two platforms. So what we've done here is we've created this Jira integration, which lets us import Jira tickets into fellow so that we can see what this status of the ticket is, what the title of the ticket is, the assignee and the due date, and the checked off status is kept in sync between the two platforms. So this is a ticket that I've imported from Jira. And now I can show you also that we can create one. So for example, I think that Rachel should be mentoring new hires. So I've created this action item and then using the drop down menu on the side here, I can select link to Jira. The title is pre-populated. I want to add this to our developers project and set it as a task. Let's create the issue. All right, so here we have the ticket. We link to it automatically. We put a link directly back to the stream where this was created in Fellow. And if we change the assignee over here, I want to set this to Rachel. And if we go back to the stream, we can see that it has been automatically updated to Rachel. And same thing with the status. If we check this off over here, come back to Jira and refresh the page, we can see that the ticket has been marked as done. Now you can also import Jira issues. We have a new backslash command, backslash Jira, and this lets you import existing tickets like I did for the first one. So you can search here and I wanna search over all of my development tickets. Let's say I want to make sure that Rachel is adding more test coverage to the product. I can import this ticket and here it gets added. So this Jira integration is configured at the workspace level. So you'll find it over here in workspace settings. Let's go down to integrations and this new card is available here. Now, if you're not using Jira to do your project management, you might be using something like Asana and we have great news. Our second integration that we're gonna show to you today is our brand new Asana integration. Now, unlike the Jira integration, the Asana integration is a user level integration, which means that everyone on Fellow will have to set this up for themselves. You can find the new Asana integration in our user integrations page under a new automation settings. If we click into here, we get some information about how the integration works. Now, Asana that acts a little bit differently from the Jira integration. And it's really about syncing tasks to Asana and syncing status back and forth between Fellow and Asana without pulling any data from the Asana integration into Fellow notes themselves. So I'll show you what that means by connecting my account. All right, so first I get to select a workspace. So I'm only a part of this one Fellow workspace and you can choose to optionally select a project. Now I'm gonna select my Fellow to-do list. So we'll add this. And we can see now I have linked the fellow to-do list. This will link directly to the project and I have not sent any Asana items over there to date. So let's jump into a meeting. So I had a meeting with Rachel. I want to remember to tell Rachel that she did a great job. So now that I've typed out this action item in here, I'm gonna switch over to Asana. And now over in Asana, we can see that the action item was created. So if we click into this, we can see the action item and we can see that the action item was created from this fellow stream that has been linked. And we can also see that the status is now synced. If I mark this as complete in Asana and over on the fellow side, we can see that it has also been completed. Now, if you don't use Jira or Asana, we still have a solution for you. The third integration that I wanna show you today is our integration with Zapier. Zapier is a platform that lets you integrate any application with thousands of other applications. So you can create your own integration for fellow with with HubSpot or Airtable, Discord, Trello, Todoist, or 
any application really that you use day to day. On the Zapier Marketplace, you can find the Fellow integration page, which shows you information about what apps you can integrate with Fellow and different information like what triggers are available and what actions are available. These are used when you create Zaps in Zapier, which are integrations between two different products. After creating a Zapier account, I'm brought to my dashboard here. I already have a few Zaps set up, but I'm gonna create one from scratch so you can see what the flow is like. To start off, we have to pick an application which will trigger this Zap and make the integration start happening. So we have over 2000 applications that we can actually pick from to start off this integration. I'm going to keep things simple and start it off with Fellow. So in Fellow, we have three different events that can start this application. And we pick these specifically so that it's easy for you to create integrations that sync action items back and forth between different platforms. Now I'm going to start off by choosing action item assigned to me. And once I have set up on my account, the next step is to pull in data from Fellow into Zapier. So this looks good and we're going to continue here. Now the next step in setting up the Zap is choosing an application where an action will take place. So usually here you would want to pick something like Google Tasks or Airtable, uh, maybe even Google Calendar. Uh, just to keep things simple again, I'm going to create an action within Fellow. Now we have four options available here, all centered around creating and editing notes. Now you can add talking points or action items or regular notes like a, a bullet point note, or you can complete an action item. And this is again used for syncing action items between two different products. For this integration, I am going to add a talking point. So now my integration whenever an action item is assigned to me, will create a talking point. So I've selected this. And before we can finish this, we're gonna be presented with some different fields to customize this talking point. For simplicity's sake, I am going to select an actual stream that I would like this to go into. Now, same thing here, we can pipe in values. Now, the talking point, we haven't talked about it yet, so I'll mark this as unchecked. And the next thing that happens is uh, before Zapier actually lets me save this integration, it tests it to make sure that what I've done is valid. All right, so now that this test is completed, we can see that a talking point has been sent over to Fellow. And if we switch over to my stream, you can see that here it is. This uh, action item has been added. So let me go back to Zapier. We will turn on this action. And now we have a full on Zap. Zapier's website has a list of many, many different applications that you can use to get started with your own integrations that we don't yet offer. And if there's something that you find extremely useful that you would like to be native within Fellow, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Now, the last integration that I'm gonna share with you today is a little bit different from the other three that we've seen so far, but I'm still very excited for this one. If you connect to Fellow through G Suite, you'll now have the option to export all of your streams to Google Docs. This option is available in the drop down in the corner here. You can select export to Google Docs. Exporting your stream to Google Docs will create a new document within your G Suite account, which adds in all of the written notes, all of the assignees and the due dates and the checked off status of action items, and even your private notes if you'd like. This is a great solution for if you wanna create your own archive of your notes or even create them in a publicly accessible location while still writing in Fellow. So we're gonna export these notes here. And we get a pop-up at the bottom here saying that our export is complete. And clicking on that link brings us to the document in Google Docs. So here we try to recreate the note formatting as closely as possible so that it still looks like it was from Fellow. And we have a handy link here that will bring you back directly to the stream that this came from. So we have all of the notes here. We have talking points with emojis to represent whether or not they've been checked off or not. And same thing with action items with the different checked off statuses, as well as due dates and assignee information. Private notes get marked in yellow so that they're clear. If you're planning on sharing this document with others, then you might want to export the notes without the private notes. The great thing about having these notes available in Google Docs is that you can edit them to look however you like and start adding information or removing information and tailoring it for whatever your audience is. This is right now available just for people with G Suite accounts, and we will be releasing something for Microsoft accounts in the near future. With Fellows, Jira, Asana, Zapier, and Google Docs integrations, 
we've made it easier than ever to connect fellow into your meeting stack. 